Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and in this video we're talking about the day 8.5 episode of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and topics that are brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of what's happening next time on the show. But before any of that, if you haven't seen the day 8.5 episode, here's, some, here's a link somewhere around here. You can click on it so you know what we're talking about before we talk about it. Wait a moment. Okay, we'll jump right in, but before we get to the discussion points, there are a few people that I wanted to thank for helping us make the March fundraiser. Obviously, we made it because we have this video, uh, and we actually blew it away. We're getting pretty darn close to 100% funding on Alien Invasion, which I'm really psyched about. So thank you guys who have been with the series you know, pretty much since the beginning. Uh, thank you for your continued support, and I wanted to thank the people that jumped on in the past couple weeks for, again, making us, uh, getting us to a point where we made the March fundraiser and we were able to release the episode. And the people are Farrell, Doug, Laura, Libertarian, and Nico. Thank you all so very much for jumping on board. If you're not familiar with this series, the only reason I'm able to do this, and actually gen generally I've been improving the overall quality of the entire channel, is from the generous support of people just like yourself who have gone to Patreon and have partnered with me for as little as a dollar a month just to keep all this stuff rolling. The Alien Invasion episodes take uh, between 20 and 30 hours each to put together, uh, and I, I would not be able to do that without the generous support of, again, people just like yourself. So anyway, Let's talk about the discussion points. As far as I see it, there are probably there are two main things that I wanted to talk about in this episode. One is the idea of health and uh, medical preparedness uh, that people uh, are setting aside for themselves or, or training themselves ahead of some kind of a, a disaster or a collapse. And the other aspect is the idea of, and as if you're a prepper, you, we've all heard it, when the shit hits the fan, I'm showing up at your house, dude. <laughs> That kind of thing. So I want to talk about those two things today. Uh, let's go with the health and medical first. Uh, I think obviously it's a very important thing to keep in mind because uh, medicine and uh, the need for it, or you know, or just you know, general uh, medical knowledge, is something that's certainly with us during normal times, and it'll absolutely be with us. The need for that will absolutely be with us in any kind of a crisis, even more so, obviously. Uh, so how many provisions? Are you setting aside for that? And by provisions, I mean uh, knowledge provisions, books, research material, things of that nature. Uh, the actual physical uh, objects, medicine, crutches, uh, you know, bandages, things, things like that. And then on top of that, and most importantly of all, is really the skill set to know how to use all those things, how to pull all those things together. Because you can, you can have the greatest medical kit in the world, but if you don't know what to do with it, it's going to be of zero use to you other than, you know, a paperweight or a doorstop or something like that. So how do you weigh all those things? What are some interesting medical ideas that you've had? And I don't mean like creepy ones. I mean like interesting medical preps that you thought to yourself one day, man, you know, this is something that I should really have. I'll just share one of my, uh, uh, my recent thoughts of, of, of something that I want to be adding to my medical uh, preparedness arsenal. Uh, and this relates to a video that I did not too long ago about fish antibiotics. And the reason I needed fish antibiotics, actually that video is a really awesome opening. If you want to see it, here's a link around here. I love the opening of this video. It's very funny. Um, anyway, uh, the reason I needed the fish antibiotics was because I had had a leg wound. I ended up getting cellulitis, I think it was called. Was it cellulitis? I forget what it was called. I say in the video, and I was wrong actually, and I correct myself in the video uh, in there. But anyway, I injured my left leg and I could not put any weight on my left leg. So. To get around the house, I still had to do things. I was jumping around on my right leg the entire time. <laughs> At one point, I kind of got some walking sticks. And I was trying to get my, my arms into the act, but it was very stressful and strenuous on my right leg. And I was risking spraining my right ankle <laughs> by, by doing that. And I thought later, man, you know, crutches would be a good thing to have. If I ever injured my leg in a, a crisis situation, it's the same kind of thing where you just, you, you got stuff you got to do, you got to get around and, uh, the last thing you'd want to be doing is then injuring your other leg because you're hopping around on it. So that was something that, that popped in my, my head. Crutches would be a great thing to have because they are pretty easy to come by now. Uh, you know, they're constantly and I think recklessly being th thrown out like, cause I guess, you know, medical companies don't reuse them. Uh, so they just kind of get landfilled and I always see them at Salvation Army. So that's where I think I'm going to get my crutches. Um, but I think that'd be a really great thing to have. Do you have other things that you've thought of that you think are just would be really invaluable that other people might not think of? I know I hear from so, so many people all the time that they love that, you know, people enjoy my videos, they find them entertaining and everything like that. But what they really love is the comment boards uh, under the videos. I do a lot of work to keep them civil and productive and positive and helpful. 
uh, I try to scare away, you know, the people that, you know, aren't interested in, in you know, helping others in our community. So a lot of people find the comment boards really helpful. They love reading, you know, uh, you know, just the, the, the comments that people leave. So if you have a helpful idea, I know there are other people that would love to hear it. And if you're interested, check down through the comments. There are a lot of really smart people that watch these videos. I'm, I feel really lucky to have all you guys. And, uh, you know, there are, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of great ideas down there, unless you're first, unless you're watching this first. So that's one idea. Think about that. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. The other thing that is in this video, like I said, is the idea of, dude, when the shit hits the fan, I'm, I'm coming to your house. And, and again, if you're a prepper, you've, you've heard that. From people and there's two different ways of kind of looking at that and and I kind of fall somewhere between the two you know one way is well you know my preps are for me I, I set aside a certain amount for myself and my family that's how much I've set aside and I'm not prepping for you you should prep but I'm not prepping for you that's one approach to it uh, the idea that if people come they're gonna be kind of leeching off of all the effort that you've put in uh, that's why we called it uh, the name of this episode was grass and the, uh, the grasshopper and the ant you know, the, the old story about the ant and the grasshopper same kind of thing uh, the other side of that and I also present that that perspective in this video is the idea of more people you know there's strength in numbers so uh, a lot of people are kind of like yeah you know the shit ever hits a fan you know come to my place we'll rally and we'll we'll make it happen you know because you know you, you're, you're stronger when when there are more uh, there when there are more of you so what is your what is your take on that I think that there are valid points to either of those in fact last week's episode uh, was you know with the if you haven't seen it, it had a really funny opening you know remember the guy with the giant eyes and the knives uh, obviously there here's a link somewhere <laughs> check it out uh, obviously there are people that would be more helpful in your group or less helpful in your group and last week's video was about the people that might surprise you about uh you know how useful they would actually be so um you know, where 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 do you draw the line on that are you hardcore that you know just i prep for my family i'm all set i don't need anyone else or are you thinking you know you know, when the shit hits the fan you know it would be nice to start kind of creating a little bit of a community and and yeah come on and you know you got to be helpful but uh yeah we'd be happy to have you where do you fall on that i'd love to hear your thoughts because uh it's uh it's definitely a balancing act, and I don't think there's a clear right, right or wrong answer one way or the other. So, without any more further blabbing about that, let's do a, a clip from next week's episode. What should we do for next week? Next week's, a, next week's a pretty big episode, also. Again, that Patreon support, it's allowing me to make some longer episodes now, which I, I, I'm having fun with. Let's see. There's some new ships next week. I think I'll show you some of the new ships. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. During like normal non-alien invasion times, that would be ridiculously reckless to do. I'm feeling like I can be cut some slack though because there's aliens flying around blasting everything. So I, I just feel like I would like to have that in there with some ammunition for it. I'm gonna have to really pack that in there a little bit better. What is that? Is that a new noise? I'm not sure, I haven't heard that before. Like new noises, what the hell is that? Whoa! How far away do you think that was? Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.